Hey guys, uh, Candy with Candy's Floral Creations. I wanted to hop on and show you how to wire and tape a boutonniere and a corsage. So I think I'm going to do it in two separate videos, but I'm going to start with the boutonniere. Um, I know a lot of florists are having a hard time with boutonnieres and corsages because of the um, Oasis glue and the supply chain and it's turning into powder because they're they're, they haven't been able to get their hands on um, a few ingredients that makes it stick. So people are having trouble because they don't know how to wire and tape. That's all I've ever um, done. It's how I was taught. It's an old school way. I really don't ever use the glue. So I just wanted to do a video because a lot of people have been asking me to. But I just want to tell you about the hazards. Don't poke yourself in the lip with the wire. I went to hold the wire and I did that because I use my mouth. My mouth is like my third hand, which I know is really go gross. But so don't poke yourself in the lip with wire. All right. So here are my ranunculus boutonnieres. Okay. So if the greenery is nice and long and has a thin stem, you don't need to wire this. So I already did this part, but I'm going to kind of show you. So Italian Ruscus, long stem. This is a long stem. And here's your ranunculus. This is called a hairpin way of uh, wiring. So you take your wire and you make like a little hairpin with it. Okay. Poke it in the middle straight down as straight as you can sometimes it comes through the stem sometimes just on the side and you pull it where you're not even going to see it and you tape that okay now why do we wire and tape so that we can do this with our flowers and they're not going to break you see that if you don't wire this will snap this head will snap but look at this so when the groom is hugging everybody and it gets a little squished it's not going anywhere look at it. it's not going to snap off there's nothing to snap off this is why i will always always wire look at this ranunculus look at that okay so then if this was um a really woody stem i would wire it because you do not want this stem to be huge you're never going to get your pins through it. But these are so thin. So then I'm just going to put them behind them. And tape it. So. Can those stems break? Yes. But it's unlikely. Okay. Um, but if you want to, you can wire them. If you wire, what I do is I cut the wire. I keep always one main wire. So you'll see with the corsages, sometimes I'll have like 15 wires, but I always cut up here and keep one main wire so that it always is streamlined, nice and thin. You don't want a chunky stem on the bottom of your corsages or your boutonnieres, okay? So here is your boutonniere. Like it was just that easy, right? So I'm gonna show you how I finish them. So... I use double face satin. This, this takes a lot. All we're gonna do is wrap it. So here's the end result, right? There's the front and there's the back. You're never gonna see that because that's the front. So you get your front. I'm gonna show you the back part, right? I cut Okay, so let me see if I can do it this way. So here's your front. That's how it's going to look. So I immediately cut the stem so you're not going to see it, okay? Right at the bottom of the ribbon. Then this is how I hold it, okay? So I'm pinching it. My hands are not ever going to get near that glue. I take the hot glue. I put it on the stem a little bit down that green stem with the tape i fold one side over fold it fold it fold it i take the glue again tiny little bit all the way down and i fold over this side fold it fold it fold it 
Okay, so now you're gonna have excess ribbon, which you're just gonna cut really sharp scissors. Okay, but there's always gonna be fray. So I take a lighter and I go whoop, right on the side. So there's no fray. See that little bit of fray right there? Gone. There's your boutonniere. There is your boutonniere. Okay. I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to do another one for corsages.